Hello everyone, how are you doing? Alexander is here from the island of Cyprus in the Give a Loser channel where we learn how to play guitar, different styles and of course how to use the guitar to sing. Uh, I've been uploading quite a lot of songs but uh, it's been some while since I put some techniques so I was thinking of a very good easy skill on the first three frets. Uh, I'll play it slow for you. And you can return just in the same manner. And with this one you can use it to play the A minor chords. just to make it sound a little bit more uh, Mediterranean. Now basically we're playing on the first string, the third fret, then the first, then open. Then the second string repeat, third fret, first fret, open. The third string is the only one that has the main difference that you just press and release on the second fret. Sorry for the background noise guys, the truck just decided to pass by. Have such a nice light. Anyways, after the third fret pressing down on the sec sorry after the third string pressing down on the second fret then we go to 3 2 on the fourth and 3 2 that's frets on the fifth string counting from down up open open and on the e we finish exactly like we did on the high e which was you can return, put a capo on and just practice this slowly, slowly. Have a friend or record yourself playing a progression of minor. any one of these notes up here this is uh, not even an intermediate level it all depends on your speed and your melodic sense that you want to do and mix these notes and you'll have a lot of fun with it I'll bring you some more of these um, universal scales, uh, scales I would like I have the name it's called Phrygian and you can find it for the rest of the part of the guitar but I think only these three are enough for you to start and then play all the white notes on the do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do, if you like to continue on the, a little bit higher. Okay, that's it. That's a beautiful, easy scale to play, guys. Get your fingers a little bit more nimble. And if you like, you can change for the fourth string on the E strings. And then you can have the E, F, G, F, E progression to solo and have fun with it. So every scale you learn with the chord progression, it's a beautiful way in to create dozens of melodies and uh, imagine how many chord progressions there are and how many scales. So no excuses that I'm running out of melodies and I'm playing Frere Jaco by accident. <laughs> the next one uh, video will be again for singing how to play the rumba strumming along with an English uh, original uh, not Spanish, rumba flamenca. I hope you like that one and I hope you like this lesson too. Please, if you do, give it a like, share, comment, give me some questions and uh, I'll be happy if I have the time, if it's not too long, to answer to all of you. Thank you very much. God bless. See you in the next video.